Hello guys and welcome back to another video review. This time we are going to have the Premier League players. Well, it's not Premier League, it's Manchester City. And honestly, we have a decent pack. Even though we already have in the previous months Manchester City player packs um, several times, this time we have a little bit different. We have one striker, one forward player and the rest are midfielders and defenders as you can see we have Haaland which still has terrible balance but what you can do with Haaland is increase his kicking power to 92 acceleration needs to be almost as offensive awareness is 90 ball control and dribbling needs to go as much as the 70 front low pass you don't need to touch and then the rest you allocate on finishing and that is how you do with Haaland heading chip shot control rising shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing heel trick first time shot penalty specialist and super sub fighting spirit so yeah Haaland is extremely good player to have from all this pack next up we have Rodri arguably one of the uh, best Defensive midfielders as anchorman, him and Casemiro. As you can see, already ball control dribbling attack possession is good. You can increase it until the dribbling is 75. Low pass, you can increase until 88, something like that. Uh, you can increase his speed and acceleration, speed until his kicking power is almost. Uh, sorry, speed needs to be 70, kick acceleration needs to be 70. Rest you allocate on his defensive awareness, so it needs to go above 86. So yeah, that is how you do Rodri. Soul control, rising shot, one touch pass, through passing, weighted pass, uh, low lofted pass, man marking, interception, area superiority, fighting spirit. The only problem is, I don't know why the, the forms are not updated. All are C form right now. Uh, Stones build up player already attacking slots, you don't need to touch. Defensive awareness needs to be above 85. Speed needs to be almost 80. Acceleration needs to be 75. And that is how you do uh, Stones because he's defender, standard form, weighted pass, low lofted pass, interceptions, and sliding tackles. Akanji destroyer. Um, well, his defensive engagement is a little bit low, so you need to increase his defensive awareness to 85 and above until the defensive engagement is 80. That is how you go. Uh, speed needs to be around 80, acceleration needs to be around 72, and the rest, if you have any points, you increase his jumping. That's it. Uh, heading, weighted pass, long throw, man marking, interception blocker, area superiority, acrobatic throw, clearance. That is his main forte. Standard form, C rated. Next is Ruben Diaz. His defensive awareness needs to be 90, at least 90. That's that. But I would go 92 as much as. Speed needs to be. So you go like this. First, you increase his speed until it's 72. Acceleration until it's 72 as well. Then you go. Uh, jumping on 85 and the rest you allocate all on defense and that is how you do it heading low lofted pass man marking interceptions area superiority sliding tackle captaincy and fighting spirit all uh, great traits unwavering on the problem is c rated bernardo silva creative playmaker he has enormously good dribbling low pass and lofted pass needs to be better needs to be 85 at least uh, finishing needs to be 75 and the rest you allocate on speed and acceleration speed needs to be almost as 75 to 280 acceleration needs to be 80 definitely kicking power needs to be increased at least 70 something and yeah he is more of uh, of your creator kind of player than you can use him as a as a player to finish a scissor feint sombrero Cut turn, scotch move, long range curler, long range shooting, through passing, pinpoint crossing, outside curl, low lofted pass. For that uh, long range shooting, kicking power needs to be 80 and above to be more uh, deadlier. Gundogan, good ball control driven type possession. You need to increase it around, well, a 
everything needs to be around 82. Uh, passing needs to be around as well, um, 85 and above. Finishing needs to be 75. Speed needs to be until kicking power is 80. And acceleration needs to be uh, until his offensive awareness is 82. That is how you do Gumnagan. Double touch, cut 10, soul control, long range curler, a hill trick, out, one touch pass, through passing, weighted pass, outside curl, and captaincy. Those are the traits that he has, and he is a whole player, so he's going to give you more, more room to play with. And last is Jack Grealish. Driven, ball control, and type possession is uh, decent, needs to be 85 and above. Uh, low pass needs to be around 82. Finishing needs to be at least 75. Uh, speed and acceleration. Speed with Grealish needs to go as much as kicking power is, well, almost 80. Acceleration needs to go as much as his offensive awareness is 80. So that is how you do Grealish. Double touch, cut, then long range curl, a dipping shot, one touch pass, weighted pass, outside curl, game machine captaincy and fighting spirit. Standard form. So all around from this pack, honestly, I would say that best are Haaland, Rodri, Ruben Diaz, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, Akanji, Stones and Grealish in that particular order. So yeah, guys, thank you for being a lovely audience. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Also check out the videos that are going to pop off right now. I'm live on uh, Twitch every monday wednesday and thursday 21 30 ct so check the links below and we're going to see each other in the next video bye bye everyone